And so another day begins. And I happen to find charts inside a canoe of all places. As we can see, there's a lot more than just S Seattle to go to. And I think it would probably be best to skirt around the big city for a while and try to focus on places like mostly sparsely populated farms and whatever Paradise Point is. That sounds like an exciting place to be. As you can see, I managed to apply a series of upgrades to this vehicle, including a portable generator that doesn't really power anything, but I found one and I'm storing fuel inside, giving me much more longevity on the road. It's not the fastest car, but until I can acquire a proper axe, and the lot, it'll do, it'll do. Hmm. Arlington Farm. So found this magnificent shotgun. It's quite a beauty, isn't it? And a pickaxe, which is quite useful. I've discovered that there's lots of iron ore in the hills. It's called hematite. Oh, but, oh yes, it's called hematite for iron, but I just remembered. You wanna know what gold ore is called? It's called native gold. <laughs> it's like, really? You're going to call native gold uh, platinum and, and gold? You're gonna call that native. And then just call it a day. I think that says a lot. I think that says a lot. Considering this is just a farm, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Wheat makes for good bread. I do love a good sandwich. Hmm. <coughs> do I need more medical items? I don't think so. <coughs> I think for now, of all the basics, I need to focus on acquiring proper wood chopping tools. Corn! Rows and rows of corn. The most boring sight to behold. Do I even have a bow? No. Maybe I will someday. I would prefer some sort of silent weapon. Although I'd right now I would also prefer an axe. Because it turns out that a fire axe isn't all that good for uh, chopping down trees. It took me a while to get all the sticks I needed turned into planks. Ooh. And get what I want. It was very, very exasperating. I think I'll eat a lettuce. Filled with nutrition. And I think I'll slice. No, that's a bit big though. Tomato? Carrot? No. That carrot is just under date. I'll just have to clear space the old fashioned way. Because I do want that crossbow. If I can just get rid of that. Okay, and stuff that there. What's this a rag? Cobra box. Do I have like a? Yes, I can throw away the cobra clip. Put this to the side, and <coughs> then put that there. There we go. And this here. Now I repair it a bit. Don't have enough metal to repair it. That's not funny. That's not funny at all. Ah, good wheat. I think I'll take a bite of that, actually. The good wheat. I need fertilizer. And the power to grow... What do they call it? You know, the, 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 the stuff. Plants. During my little, well, thorough search, I happened to run out of... Ugh, food. Found myself in quite the, pl quite the pickle. I mean, I've severely underestimated just how many benefits there are to... Okay, you, you need to go. Making a serious decision. So the umbrella. If I remember correctly, lets me glide across the air, yes. More a fan of hand gliders myself, but... I think we've already established that choice is not something I have right now. Wait, I could turn that fire axe into the metal I need to repair the crossbow. You 
know, usually when there's zombies about, you don't expect there to also be ghosts. But it seems this place has plenty of hauntings going on. Hmm. Crossbow is fixed up. Crossbow goes in hand. And everything works out all right. Not much of an umbrella. That takes care of Arlington Farm. What do I have for this in terms of ammunition? I have one arrow. The one that I have is almost broken. And I have none of the means to fix it. Because I used all my metal to fix up the crossbow itself. Oh well. Wait a minute, I have a pickaxe now. I can just head over to the countryside and dig up a little bit of metal. Uh, if I was just a thief, this would be much more painful. But luckily, I'm also an entrepreneur and an explorer extraordinaire. And as such, possess the necessary skills to mine things. Hop, oh. Hop, oh. Hop, oh. And there comes the scrap metal. Uh huh. I can also fix up the muzzle if I have three scraps lying around. Oh. Well, I don't really have anything to l I can learn from, so I'm slightly limited in what I can truly do. And we're on the road again. You know, it's been a while since I've just been on the countryside, enjoying a nice trip. Usually I'm either on the lamb... That's not good. I thought this zombie outbreak was completely localized, but it seems... Seems not. Where are we? Paradise Point. Paradise Point. Paradise Point, huh? I don't think they'll arrest me. I mean, why would they? I don't think they can arrest me. Because I don't think there's anyone left alive to arrest me. Wait. It's not a military compound, that much is obvious. It seems I'll be dealing here with a mixture of everything. I better be on my best behavior for this one. <sighs> That's going to bring me some pain later down the line. This place looks almost completely deserted. That's not the part that gets me about all this. <laughs> Medical supplies. Blood bag. Not a terrible thing to have. Some antibiotics. Hmm. And a little bit of cough syrup. I need strong stuff. Stuff that can last me a little while. Sport shot. I know sport shots once at the luxury. 
of being on the receiving end of one. Might call it a BB gun. <laughs> that was at liberty to name. So this really is an evacuation point, isn't it? There's the telltale signs of an evacuation point. Ooh, a delicious fresh corn. Mmm. I could go for a bite. Seeing this. So even the evacuation point's completely overrun, isn't it? That's just the greatest news I've seen all year. Helipad, no <laughs> helicopter. Storage crates abound. That's just lovely. I mean, it's not like I would prefer being in an instance where I'd have to deal with officials and authorities, but... At the same time, an argument can be made that it's not exactly preferable to be stuck in the middle of nowhere with nothing but zombies for hundreds of miles. Especially because it means something that I'd rather not discuss at the moment. Might put a little bit of a dent in on my plans, too. <laughs> oh, wait. Shh. Once I clear out the camp, should be able to examine the towers and see if I... Now there's a fine vehicle, a Ural. I know Urals. They are <laughs> magnificent for transport. If you've ever had the luxury to travel in a Ural, mmm. Fine bit of motor work. Fine bit of motor work. You see, the fun thing about Urals is they can go for miles, and they have plenty of storage space for all the knick-knacks you need. Ooh, military knife. And this one's in better shape? No. Oh, it's not like this one's particularly damaged. Just a nick in the blade. Tiny little nick. We have a military night vision scope, which, I'll be honest, is not a terrible thing to have as things stand. Now I need to clear a little bit of space. on a fancy new scope. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Put on a fancy new bipod, and I have the crossbow of a century. At least I have some form of night vision now. Military knives. A desert military vest. Now there's something worth calling home about. I'll give those military men one thing. They do make good vests and helmets. Which makes it all the more odd that they were caught at all. This whole place. How did they even set up so much concrete so quickly? Bottoms. Well, you know what they say when in Rome. Might as well see how the pants fit. They're tiny. They are tiny pants. Tiny pants for a tiny person. <clears throat> so much pain and agony having to push everything around. Wait, I have a parasol. Umbrella. I can glide. Hum V. Oh, those are delicious. Once you've driven one of those, hoo -hoo -hoo, you'll feel like a really big shot. There's a zombie somewhere. <laughs> You'd think someone whose job it is to sneak up on people would be a little less, you know, fearful, but it's different with zombies. People go, Hey! Oi! What you doing in me pockets, mate? But zombies go, Arrgh. There's just something chilling about that. I think that's all of them. Nothing. Nothing at all. Hmm. Paradise Point leads up to Sheldon. Hmm. Something in the water might be worth investigating. I'd really like to take one of these fancier vehicles. I mean, the fire truck is fine and all, but I need a moment to to give everything a good once over. See if I can work out some details. I've decided I'm taking the Desert Ural. Listen, I know that it might not seem like the best idea, but I do really like it. I think I'll... I think I'll... A book! Survival guides and everything you need to make it through the undead world. Well, that's fitting for a book to be found in the middle of a refugee camp. Hmm. 
Let's see what kind of chapters there are. Cooking, ingredient gathering, resource gathering, building your place in some place, zombies will never find you. Well, that's not something I need. I intend to go home after this. Back to Europe, which isn't affected by all this. Um, ah, vehicles and their abilities. Let me scour this chapter and I'll see you in a moment. The Ural is the superior choice. I'll drive it up to one of the fuel... Oh, the fuel depots are actually right back there. Well, that's interesting. Time to siphon some fuel. After that, I'll scour the towers for a quick look. And I'll report back. We're going to pimp this ride! Although I would like to have another crate. For more storage, but... They say you can't win them all. I mean, I found this magnificent scope. If I can just find a good long-range weapon, like that Yuri. <gasps> a GPS! Well, go away, money. I found a GPS. First I found a chart, now I found one of these puppies. The fun thing about the GPS is that it gives you a much more accurate readout on the current stance of things. Hmm. So that's a golf course, is it? Always was one for a round of golf. I think we'll go there and have a lovely time. Uh, nothing. Silch. Nada. I was hoping for at least something. Not necessarily a maple strike, just an Avenger, maybe. Fine ornament. Still, I have fancy new camouflage equipment. And they slightly better see the vehicle. Although still no proper axe. Wait a minute. Isn't there like a campground nearby? No, it's just Everett. Because I do know... Oh, there was a campground near Everett. Come on, all. Oh. That might be worth a visit. No, no. If things are going the way they are going, I... think there's going to be a slight dent in my original plans and expectations. talk about it when it's relevant, but for now, all you need to know is that I might have to change how things are going. Anyway, I'm going to move all my equipment from one vehicle to the next. I do like the Euro a little more. It's a little less obtuse than this thing is. I do like that I found that nifty survival book. It's not a thick thing, but who knows. So, it seems the circumstances are a little more dire than I thought, but I am an entrepreneur. A man who makes the most of his opportunities, and a man who turns every failure into a success. Check my map. Hmm. Probably a lot of metal in the hills, but I don't need some right now. There are two things I need to do right now. One is find a suitable location to set up a small base of occupation. A small outpost, so to speak, because I need to leave Washington for a while and go on a trip. Oh! oh. These things are built like tanks. Well, they have to be. They're technically part of the military who uses tanks, so I'd imagine it'd be quite sturdily built. How late is it? getting quite late. I just need an axe. Something I can chop up these things. Saw! I need a saw! That's what I need. I threw away my axe. Well, I just need a saw. Oh, an airplane. Now there's a way I can travel. I think I just found an answer to my problem. I forgot to siphon the gas from the fire truck into the generator. I forgot to siphon. Potato. I mostly want lettuce, tomato, and wheat to make sandwiches with. Although I also will need some bacon. Or cheese. Cheese shouldn't be hard for to come by. See? Farmers seem to not suffer from as many mutations as most. 
which makes them fairly easy to manage. Shovel, useless wheat, useful. I have way too much metal. Let's throw away some metal. Because the more seed you have, the faster you can get going. That's a delicious corn, but it's a little moldy. Ooh, everything here is moldy. Shovels and pants and shirts, but nothing worth having. I need a drink of water. And soon, I wouldn't mind if I'd have to drink from this. But I have nothing to take it out with. It just falls onto the ground. Unless I lie down and, and, and suckle on it, but I don't think I'm... I don't think I'm that thirsty. A tomato seed, exactly. I just need a planter. But for a planter, I need wood. For that, I need planks. Uh, just want a sip of water. Getting parched. Getting so parched. I know what that is. That's um a sandpiper, I think. Either way, that is a fine model. And a saw. It seems that whatever has gotten me stuck out here is also keeping an eye out for me. That is something that I really don't like. You fiddle around with your shirt too much and suddenly everything falls on the ground. With that saw, I can start doing some pretty good good. Let's repair the saw. The mo oh, I still can't. Keep forgetting. Well, maybe if I take out that nifty book, give it a read, see if I can learn a few things about fixing things. Now, let's see if I can apply it. Aha! And now I have a saw, which is a means of. Let's see. The sandpiper has no fuel at all. I guess we'll have to go to Everett anyway to recover some supplements and supplies. Once I can get that puppy fueled up and ready to go, I can fly myself straight to where I need to be. You see, I had imagined that after visiting Washington a little bit, I'd go across the Canadian countryside and visit a few luxury locations with my freshly gotten loot. But it seems the circumstances are quite dire and... well... Getting back to the European continent is a little bit easier when you're somewhere else. I'll get a flight back home, pick up some more useful equipment such as weaponry, and work it out from there. I think I'm going to get myself another crate. I'll see you then. Wait, I can also make a canteen, can't I? A little bit of duct tape, a couple of planks, good mold. Exactly. Just stuff it. Not there. Ah, fine. I can't reach... Oh, I can reach the back crate if I just... Yes, if I just shift the right way. I can pick it up. Okie do. Let's stuff some things back there. Like this. Probably won't be needing to do too big enough in the short term. There. Now I can put all these little honky-dory things back inside. So I don't have to worry about them for a little while. Um, I don't need that. Probably won't be needing my planks for a while. Ah! fresh and lively inventory. I think I can start investing in something a little bit more interesting. Like, say, mm. ah, let's get some drinks of water. Mm. Then I'll top it off with some antibiotics. And then tomorrow, when the day is young, when the hour is fresh, I don't think it would be a terrible idea to visit Everest. Snoop around a bit. I will say, a military knife is great for cutting things, but it certainly can't chop a tree. But it managed to do, it managed to do, and I think that at this point, I should be happy to be alive, considering that there's no running water, running electricity. And I forgot to bring fuel for my generator. I can't take this. It's salty. Well, that's not going to help anyone, is it? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Something just occurred to me. There's a very good chance that at some point a full moon's going to rise, and if that happens, well, I guess I'll have to parch my way through the night. Parched. <coughs> Not looking for a fight, though. <coughs> I'll be drinking 
some dirty water than this MacGuffin. Ugh, it's all... Oh. Better than seawater. Better than seawater, I guess. Oh. Mm. oh, this is disgusting. It tastes very moldy. I don't feel very well. I guess I'll take some of those antibiotics. Well, maybe I'll first have a drink of water. Then I'll stuff myself with antibiotics. Ah, ah, sweet water. It might be a bit disgusting, but it still feels refreshing. Mm. It's truly the miracle of nature. I guess I could stuff my face with one of these beautiful slices of bacon now. Ah! Mmm. Cooked to perfection. Which is surprising. Then again, it's not that hard to cook just a slab of meat. What is this? There is a car in the middle of a wheat field. Oh, it's a tractor in the middle of a wheat field. Is that marked on my GPS in any way? I think it might be. But the GPS identifier is turning in the way. That's just peachy. Peachy? No, it's not there. Interesting. Someone should report that some day of the week. Hmm. But not me. I think I'm going to sleep in the back of the Ural. I doubt the zombies will find me. They seem to be mostly responding to sound and sight. Which means they're unlikely to pick up someone that's hiding in the back of a truck. It doesn't make too much noise. I think tomorrow... Going to find some fuel. I'm going to say Washington goodbye for a while. As I go to an intermittent station. And from there... Oh, from there it's going to get really fun. So much fun. I should really use my cobra sometime. Instead of just lugging it around all the time. Turn off the fire. I should just gather some cloth. Weave myself a bed. But that's expensive. It's very expensive. Not a time investment. Mm. I can gather some shirts. Do I have any... I had a flashlight, but I'm pretty sure I turned it into metal. I'm pretty sure I turned it into metal. I don't have enough cloth for this, do I know? How much is a bed? I just want something to snooze in. Yes, I need a lot more cloth to construct what I want. Well. Well, well, well. It's a nice cot, though. I guess tomorrow is another day. It's half moon. I need to get there quickly. Prince Edward Island is a good intermittent station. Fast food. There's got to be a fuel station there somewhere. Or else I'm going to have to siphon the Ural. Or worse, go back to Tacoma. Paradise Point. Neither of which I want to visit again.